Welcome to Wheeler. Witness some incredible driving mishaps that will make you question the decision making behind the wheel. What led to these choices? Time is short. Let's get it on. You can see a tractor trailer stopped on railroad tracks in Greer, South Carolina. Nobody got hurt. Thankfully, there was no one in the car. Hmm, this could have been easily avoided if they had focused. Laddie is fine. He's okay. Oh, it happened so quickly. Glad there are no injuries. <laughs> Bad drivers never miss exits. Hope the driver's all right. You can shop in store, online, or on the LCBO app. Hey, Rogers, after the show, drop by the Coven, Ottawa's only heavy metal themed restaurant. The Coven features daily menu specials like poutine flavor. The LCBO app. Hey, Rogers, after the show, drop by the Coven. Who's to blame here? You decide. Whoops, a Mustang doing Mustang things. Always the thrill to see a supercar in action. Hey there, if you are enjoying my content, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind later. Bravo, excellent pit execution. Negative pit. Keep your hands up! Keep your hands up! Keep your hands up! Walk backwards! Back to me! The road was icy and he didn't have winter tires, so probably didn't have much control over his car. Perhaps he was distracted, and by the time he spotted the car in front, it was already too late. Hope this serves as a learning opportunity for safer pursuit tactics. Oh dear, how did he get a driver's license?
Keep your eyes on the road, mate. I got a kid in my car, and you're driving like an asshole, and you want to videotape me? you. Stay calm and drive safely. Drivers like this should be kept off the streets. They should not be issued driver's licenses. Don't do this, bro. Luckily it wasn't wood or metal. Hat tip to all drivers that have 500 plus instantaneous hit points. Flooring it in a torrential downpour has very high probability of ending poorly. Be careful out there. That, you all are gonna get hit. I can't imagine just driving towards cars head on. The unidentified woman was reportedly driving an estimated 78 MPH and refused to pull over. Then she made the brazen decision to drive head on into the Pacific Ocean. That's a recipe for disaster. Always stay in your lane, folks. Hope there wasn't too much damage. I learned the hard way that tailgating is never worth it. Did the black car have a flat tire that caused the white car to brake suddenly? Man, even if you're in a hurry, always take the time to double check your surroundings before reversing. He needs to learn how to stay in his lane. Encroaching into another lane like that is unacceptable. If he had slowed down, they could have avoided this collision. Buy your cargo, please.
can't believe how aggressive some drivers can be. People need to learn to control their anger. I can't tell who is wrong here. Thankfully, no one else was involved. Oh, nice save. This is York Regional, Canada. A driver allegedly drove into the entrance of the mall and then reportedly robbed a store. I can't believe people still think they can outrun a train. Be alert for approaching trains, especially when approaching railroad crossings. Guys, don't try to beat the train, it will always win. Luckily, everyone is safe. Even a light rain can make the road slippery. Stay safe out there. What? How did he get a driver's license? We need to be more mindful on the road, everyone. He is okay. He is okay. This occurred on northbound FDR Drive. Double red light runners. How will insurance arbitrate in this case? Stay in your lane, dude. If you know the 11 FT8 bridge, this is a corner just like it. Watch recent videos on Willock and you'll notice that this corner appears frequently. That hurts just watching it. Ferraris are meant to turn heads, not to be turned into scrap metal, man. Hey there, if you are enjoying my content, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind later. Officers tracked a stolen car from the air as the man accused of stealing it raced through Atlanta reaching speeds of more than 100 mph. Hope he realizes the gravity of his mistake before it's too late.
It's a reminder of the risks these kart racers take every time they hit the track. Thankfully, there were no injuries. It is a 28 km long racetrack in the German Eiffel, which is known for rapid shifts in weather conditions. Things occurred in F1 Briska British 2013. All of them walked away. Stuff on you boys. Yeah, I think Michael Dunlop might just be patient here. Lindsay Hair absolutely be impressive on what for a level this guy's moved. I imagine this kind of competitiveness builds good friendships. Oh dear, too late on the brakes oh. and he came off. That was a wild ride. At least he is on the road to recovery. Kudos to the driver for keeping calm and sharing the footage with people. Those lap. Rally racing is all about pushing boundaries. Sometimes it ends like this. Luckily both drivers were okay. Location in Russia. The event was held near New South Wales and consisted of one race of 1,000 kilometers in length. The 2016 Super Cheap Auto Bathurst 1000 was a motor racing event for Super Cheap. It's like the double pinball. Oh, that's big. Look at the air and the attitude the car got before it finally ricocheted. Almost 50 minutes after the start of the ADX Zurich 24 hour race, the race management had to interrupt the race due to heavy rain and Hale turned the route into a slide in just a few minutes. They are all right. Oh, oh, this was the inaugural the circuit of the America's yep. race in NASCAR's first cup rain wow. race. And right under him. Oh, and into the Big wall. Hit. Goes the 40. Oh, my gosh. Cole Custer, nowhere to go there. Big fire. He had a massive hit For the better right part there. of 76 Cole years now, NASCAR Man, has not raced in the rain. And even With when they this, have, it was it done sparingly. It had been taken too far. NASCAR had to throw the red. Slow down, getting in the corner. What's the craziest no, race you ever attended? To the corner. He lifted oh, because, because of that. Yeah, you know he, what happened? He let off early because he didn't know where the braking zone was. Had no visibility. And and ran over it. Luckily, everyone walked away. Okay, but what a ride. It's a testament to his skill that he walked away from such a nasty incident. Kudos to a good save. If it were me, I would have made an absolute mess of that. This happened in 2023 Pala Casino 400 at Fontana, California. It was contested over 200 laps on the two-mile D-shaped oval. Dylan Bunchell and Christopher Bell, Blaney, Al Marola is around. That'd be real tame for sprint cars. Glad everyone made it out all right, but those cars are going to be asleep for a while. That seems like a really nice car. Too bad these guys have to wait. Lost the tire. Or the spare. Everyone was watching Paris Auto Speedway opening night in California on March 9th, 2022. 
turned to one of four times involved. Definitely worth the price of the mission. So you can see under the hood. Are you sure it's just not him being that short? Here comes the boat and bob it again. No, it's just you hit that. It was the final race on the two-mile oval, as it will not be on the 2024 schedule due to the track being renovated into a 0.5-mile short track in 2024. That's a great save. Oh, two great saves. There's nothing like the sound of engines revving and tires screeching on race day. It is the perfect blend of skill, strategy, and sheer horsepower. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with number one. Always use wheel chocks, man. It's not just a hazard for vehicles carrying it, but for everyone else on the road, too. Check your cargo before hitting road, people. At least no other vehicles involved. It's better to let it go and prioritize safety over pride. I always try to remind myself that getting angry behind the wheel won't change the situation. How could this happen? Start recording emergency video. Good thing there are no injuries. Hydroplaning is a reminder of how important it is to adjust our driving behavior in bad weather. Who is wrong here? You decide. Don't drink and drive, bro. Pay attention, man. Oops! Distractions can lead to incidents like these. Drive responsibly, folks. Good thing it was just a sign and not something more serious. Everyone is fine. This happened in Arkansas. Thankfully, everyone seems to be okay. That honk saved the day. What was he thinking?
It's moments like these that make you appreciate every second. Be careful when crossing tracks. I tell you. See, I still got, I'm still recording. <laughs> Before crossing, look for any stopped trains and be prepared to wait until they move. That was way too close for comfort, man. What are you thinking, dude? Stop it. <laughs> Who is to blame here? Oh my god. Glad she's all right. Margaret. <laughs> Yeah, can you help me? It's yeah. too heavy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forced himself to close the door. Oh, <laughs> One of the things I really loved about it was that it kind of... He is okay. Not right. to make it sound like Last One Tree is Antichrist. Right. But, you know, <laughs> there's a moment where Riley becomes... Delivery driver forgets to put handbrake on, leaves car, and does some weird stretches. Then he drives off without leaving details or delivering the parcel. Eyes on the road, hands on the wheel, it's simple tight. This is the same case. Glad trucker for his quick reflexes and avoiding what could have been an incident. I can't imagine the repair bill for that. Oh, Madonna! Cazzo! Madonna! Oddio, mamma, fermati! The driver is fine. Hey there, if you are enjoying my content, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind later. Deputies with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department arrested a man wanted for auto theft after he led them on a high-speed chase. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video!